What's up, everybody? I'm Damon. This is Marco from IGN Italy, and we're here on the show floor at Gamescom in <laughs> Germany. So this is actually a very multinational broadcast <laughs> coming to you right now. Marco got to play Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. What'd you think? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Good? Yeah. I'm, uh, that's your review. Yeah, that, that's it. Yep. I really nope. enjoyed it. IGN Italy. Uh, no, you liked it. Yeah, Because we all like it too. We're really yeah. excited about it. Uh, the thing is, I'm a huge fan of action games. Yeah. I'm actually uh, a sucker for, you know, things like Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, and Ninja Gaiden, so sure. more technical games. But I also like, you know, simpler, nicer things. This uh, uh, was heavily influenced by uh, the Batman combat system of the Harkham series. Yeah. But I feel they did a wonderful job also in adding, you know, a layer of violence to it. It's very visceral, very brutal. Sure. And I think uh, the animations look great. Yeah, yeah, they do look great. And uh, it's, it's just fun to play. And there, there's cool mechanics to it. Also, you know, the animation are good as they used to be in sure. this kind of game. But it's really great. Also, you can mark enemies. You, you see finishes yeah. are great. Definitely more visceral than I like, Batman's. Yeah. All that, uh, all that uh, black orc blood flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that, that's cool. It, it gets you right into the action, and I also appreciated the fact that you know, it's a game that relies on the on the lore of the Lord of the Rings. Sure. So it it's in, connects you between uh, uh, the, the Hobbit yep. and the Lords of the Rings. Yeah. Tells you what's in the middle and what happens uh, uh, between uh, uh, Sauron and uh, Kerbimbro. Yeah. Sure. Who forged the ring? Are you are you a big fan? Have you like have you read it all all the uh, lore? Yeah, and the uh, yeah. I, I, I read the okay. I read the books and I I did like them. Also, I feel that this game could make you know justice to the universe. Sure. <laughs> yeah. In the uh, past, we haven't seen you know amazing stuff, but so you like the combat? Yeah. Now, what about what the like, what about the nemesis system? Yeah, that's uh, what really struck with me also. Yeah. Because it's something completely original. Yeah. And. Uh, it adds some, it adds some depth to it uh, because you know the fact that all the orcs, uh, the chieftains, are procedurally generated uh, makes the the world feel fresh, new, and also you get you know rivalry between one another. Uh, you uh, you you need to conquer your way in mortar and uh, to turn the troops of of orcs to your side. Sure, it feels great and it's something unique that I feel you know could make this game stand out even more. Yeah, I really like the, that it, the idea that it's not scripted, that yeah. everyone's playthrough can be different, you can approach it different ways. Also, I was told that you know the story does play out in a different way. Yeah. Say, you choose to target a specific orc, but then you know uh, he escapes, but he, you burn it, say, with uh, five arrows. Yeah. The next time he turns up, is like burnt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's something. Cool yeah, and he might like hold a grudge against you. Yeah. He remembers it with you. <laughs> yeah. The enemies remember. So there's like good sense of progression yeah. to it, and I think it's unique, weird, and you know special in a way. Yeah. Cool. That's really good to hear. The game looks great. So <laughs> thanks for uh, sharing uh, an update with us. No, well, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Let me say ciao to of all course, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, IGN is a is a global brand. We have we have headquarters <laughs> all over the world. We're taking over the world. Yeah, we are taking. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Marco from IGN Italy, thank you so much for joining us. It was us. a pleasure. Ciao. Uh, stay tuned, so much more to come from IGN at Gamescom. Stay tuned.